of the high school class. Hello. Hi, Miss Sambucci. Hello, hello Miss Sambucci. You sound like a nicer teacher than my high school class that I have. Although I just call her Mrs. Black. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> works for me. Um, Bully seems like a perfect song for kids in high school because that's where you're getting the most amount of pressure, junior high and high school. Um, I suppose it relates to all aspects of life at any age, but kind of tell me the story of, of you know where that came from. For me, um, Brent and I wrote Bully um, with uh, our friend Dave Bassett, and um, it was that, junior high for me. I got the crap kicked out of me on a nearly constant basis because I was different and because I was, you know, it was one of those things to where I was, you know, I was into music and I wasn't a jock, but I still had girls' attention, which was great for me. You know, I, you know, to all the other kids, I was a nerd, but the chicks liked me and I was stoked about that. But that would also get me, get my butt kicked even more because it would be like the jocks, girlfriends or whatever. And it's not a, a statement of being cocky, but... It's the, the, I think sometimes girls attract themselves to that different, weird, kind of artsy. And I don't, it wasn't weird. I was just, I wanted to be Kurt Cobain. You know, I had like long blonde hair and wore flannel shirts and way too big for me. And, but yeah, it, it, bullying though is, is not just about high school. It's about in relationships at home or, you know, um, it's one of those things to where it can happen at work. You know, your bosses or yeah. your friends. And yep. it's one of those things to where, for me, it, we're not condoning violence, but we are condoning survival. And what matters, you know, and, and, and standing up for yourself, you know, don't take it on the chin. It's not, you can't always resolve things with words. And we're not telling you to go fight someone, but we are telling you don't back down. And if someone hits you, hit them back verbally or physically, you know, and, and, and they're the ones that it's funny. The bullies are the ones that most, most of the time are being bullied. You know what I mean? And it's funny because, you know, you'll meet them again on the long journey back to the middle. You know, those, those guys. Right. So just keep your head up, and, and that song for us came from a personal place, and know that that you can make a difference, I guess, and you don't have to bow down because there's, there's kids taking their own lives because of this. And that's sad, yeah. the fact that you can bring someone down so much to a level where they take they feel that there's no other way out, and that's disgusting. You know what I mean? The it fact is, that you, there is someone to talk to at the very least, but they feel like there isn't. You know? And you know what? I didn't talk to anybody I talked to myself and it wasn't going to let someone else I wasn't going to let someone else control how I feel about myself you right. know what I mean and, right. and now I I can laugh at those people how many of them have uh, emailed you all for of tickets? them oh dude <laughs> all of them me and me and Brent me and Brent have a joke where we say hey man remember me um you know I don't know I kicked your ass all the way through seventh grade but me and like 12 of my friends were wondering if we could come to your show you know it's like, no, you can't. You know, buy a ticket. 